How, so, uh, how did you vote in the 2016 election? Brexit. Exit. You know, if I go back again now and it was me as a person, I would say no. I would say remain, remain in Europe. And now it's hitting my business. We can't get the staff. We can't get minimum wage staff. We just can't. Uh, you know. We've just noticed it this year, certainly around hospitality, we had a meeting, uh, a, a discussion about it, and literally it is, there is no enough staff to run. People that were uh, Europeans that could travel freely across Europe now can't come into Britain. And that is a large chunk of hospitality that's now missing and there aren't people there to fill those vacancies. You know, a chef that you could have been employing at 10, 15 pound an hour is now demanding 30 pound, 35 pound an hour because there's that much shortage and he can pick and choose his job. That's what we're up against at the moment. But because of that cost, then uh, drinks will have to go up, menus will have to go up, prices will have to go up all round. Uh, so it will impact on the individual that's actually attending a bar, a restaurant, a theatre, whatever. I think it's all going to have that knock-on effect. September the 23rd will be eight years of owning this bar. We took it as a gamble. First couple of years, it was poverty, 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 and then finally we turned it around and made it work, so. See the black serviette, so just give me a couple of serviette out of that. Literally, is that bad? You go into a supermarket and the shelves are empty. You think it's not true, but it's true. As the Tesco's, they're all only half in the shelves because they cannot get the goods in. There's a shortage of beer, of certain products of beer. There's, uh, the lorries can only come in at certain times and sometimes they don't even come. I've got five pumps, one of those beers, I have, well, five pumps, one of those beers I can't stock because there isn't any, there isn't any there. You know, they haven't got the stock to transport. You know, they could be sitting in the factory where they've made it, but they haven't got the transport to transport the beer to another part to bottle it to give it to me. Or, you know, that's what's going on, the chain supplies, and it's just knocking on and knocking on. Uh, you know, there is huge amounts within, within our industry that's missing. It's an absolute cock-up. So, uh, how did you vote in the 2016 election? Uh, how did I vote? I voted as a businessman, and I voted exit, exit, you know. If I go back again now and it was me as a person, I would say no. I would say remain, remain in Europe. Uh, because what I've lost as a person, I think means more than my business, if that makes sense, uh, is that the freedom of movement means so much to me. And I think out of everything of Europe, that's the one thing that I regret that we've lost, you know, and now it's hitting my business. In these dark times that we find ourselves in, it's all too easy to feel passive and disengaged and hopeless. But there is something you can do if you like the sound of a fearless, independent media outlet really trying to shine a light where the mainstream doesn't. Then do sign up to Byline TV. You can hit the join button on YouTube or subscribe on Patreon. You can be part of driving meaningful change.